the McMichael Radio Club, which was one of the first clubs that would uh, actually started uh, organising this rally originally. So um, Les would like to say a little bit uh, to you, so I'm going to hand the microphone over to him, and then after that uh, we'll pull the, the ticket for the raffle. So uh, over to you Les, with, uh, with many thanks. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to do a little look here called My Time with McMichaels. And I joined the company in 1980. I was there in 1985. I was um, at McMichaels and Slough. The company was next door to the Horwich factory on the bank of the Grand Union Canal. The company consists of two distinct companies. The commercial known as the toy shop and the sea keen submarine coast department called the military department. And I became chairman of the Michael Amateur Radio Club in 1981, using the Benjamin Michael's 1930 call sign 2GFG. His original call sign in 1920 was 2FG. And in 1984, the Marcus were bought out by G.C. Marconi and then moved to Glaxo Research except in Park House in Stoke Pulgate under the name of Marconi Underwater Systems Limited and then it was called MUSL and the main keepers of the club from there on was Roger Hemmings, G3BCT and Dave Cocker, G8IHF from Sutton Park. Now, Dave Cochran wouldn't believe it. His father, for John Cochran, was a chess pilot, the chief chess pilot, the BOA team, the first person to fly Concord on the to Fairford in Trenton. He was also responsible for the museum of Mike Michael's radio equipment. And when Mark Covey took over, they were going to destroy it. He said, no, I want to look after this. And so the other people who were responsible for keeping the club together was Roger Hemmings, David Cochran, Jerry Head from Bracknell, Graham Heath from West Brayton, and John Hartley from Hayes. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <coughs>